Hello everybody, um, new video going out as you can tell because you clicked on one. Um, we're going to go over Fleek. Now I've been mentioning it in a few videos, I think the last two or three weeks I've mentioned in every video that the next video is going to be the Fleek video. Well this is the Fleek video and we're just going to go over honest opinion of Fleek. I have used it now, um, but before I'd used it I was looking up on YouTube um, sort of a, other people's opinions of Fleek. I like to do that. Um, especially when if you buy it in whole if, if you don't know what fleek is it's a wholesale website for clothing um yeah it's a wholesale supplier for clothing um, and then obviously you resell that stuff so that's what it is and i was obviously going to use it but before i used it i wanted to get a good honest opinion of someone who had already used it um because obviously you're going to fork out a large chunk of money and i wanted it to be one legit because i've heard some dodgy stuff and two just wanted just wanted to know what it was all about really um, and I couldn't find any honest opinions. What I mean by that is I found a few YouTubers. I'm not going to call anyone out or or put anyone in the in the doghouse for it. So I get it. Everyone's got to earn. Uh, everyone's got to eat. Everyone's got to earn their money. But ev I could only find sponsored videos. So YouTubers um, that had taken a deal with Fleek. They give the YouTubers a bit of money to go and spend on the website. And then make in return the youtube would make a video on the, what they got and their experience and it's great it helps um the videos did help me quite a lot but the trouble with that is you don't know how honest they're going to be because they've been sort of paid to make the video so they're probably maybe i don't know under contract just to not slag the platform off i don't know how that works but they're probably going to say something nice to keep on side and try and get more deals in the future so you've got to be a little bit wary of that. I can tell you now I've not been paid a penny. Um, I'm going to be brutally honest and give you my full opinion of what I made of the platform. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to start on the positive stuff because always start on a positive note. But let's get going. So I've made my little um, do's and don'ts, my little positive and negative list. Timely delivery. Now, I say timely delivery. Um, they delivered it when expected. So it says on the website this can take up to, I think it says a week to two weeks and it took about two weeks to come so no qualms there um i knew what i was getting myself into and i bought it i knew it's going to take a couple of weeks to come it wasn't any later two weeks perfect um it's fine you don't mind that as long as you're aware uh, it didn't say like four days and then took two weeks it took the given time to come so all clear there no qualms obviously two weeks is a long time but if you're expecting it it's fine um and as for the stock itself so i bought some reworks if i get one down rework nike jumpers Basically all the same as that. Still got loads left on the back there. That's basically what I bought. I bought 20 of those at £9 a piece. Um, that was including the tax, including the shipping. Um, so a good little deal because they can sell for about £30. I've been selling them upwards of £40 in the shop. So good deal. Um, as for the actual item, the quality of the clothing, I cannot complain whatsoever. It is brilliant. It's nice, thick jumpers, good quality. Um, the only thing with the um, clothing is this one is right, ironically, but it says on the it has the tags on them. Some of them were off. So this is a small and it has a label small, but some of them were, say, a small but had an XL tag. Some of them were an XL but had a medium tag. Some of them are a little bit skewer. So what I think they do is they print off, they manufacture a load of fake and like tags and then just attach them to the clothing willy nilly. Um, that's what I truly think because i think there are fake tags i don't know how to tell but they're all clean they all look nice but me and my mate were talking and there's no way they're getting hold of like there's loads of vintage tags like um as well and there's no way they get hold of that many tags so i think they manufacture fake ones and then put them on which is fine because they're reworks and they're not official nike products anyway so that's in the clear but yeah that was the only qualm i had with the product itself was that the sizing was slightly off um other than that no no uh, sort of disputes or anything with that, with the clothing, they're all perfect, other than some of the sizing was off, which is fine, especially in the shop, it doesn't matter. But if you're selling online, you have to be a little bit careful, um, a little bit switched on to make sure you're putting the right sizes in. Now, to go over the negatives, I need to explain a little bit of something to make it make sense. So my uh, the reason why I had a complication with Fleek in the first place is because of this. So I bought 20 jumpers, um, and then about an hour later, my mate rang me and said, Hi mate, do you want to go in on Fleek and buy a bigger bundle? That way we'll get it cheaper together. So I was like, yeah, definitely let's do it. Um, I should be able to cancel the order I've just put in, so it shouldn't be an issue. 
because Fleek stipulates that if you if you cancel your order within the time period before um, the sorry, I have to try and get this right. So if you order something and the and the seller doesn't confirm the order, doesn't like start packing the order, that is fine. You can cancel that order, no problems. You should get your refund. That is what Fleek state. So I was like, yeah, that's fine, mate. I'll just go on and cancel my order. I should get that refund back. It's a little bit frustrating, but it should work out fine. He was willing to front me the money and to load my refund. Um, however, I, yeah, I, I messaged the seller um, saying, please, can I cancel this order? No response. Um, so I messaged the team, the, the help support team, thinking they would be able to help me out. They said, absolutely no problem. We'll get that cancelled for you now. They did cancel the order. So they cancelled the order. It come up on the screen saying it had been cancelled. Um, I was excellent. Um, when do I get my refund? They said, oh, three to five days. Perfect. So I wait a week thinking, okay, it's probably three to five working days. Um, waited a week. No, nothing come through on my bank. Messaged them again. Hi, still haven't got my refund. They said, okay, we'll just, it hasn't gone through, but we'll do it again. Another three to five days, £19 have come back into my account. So I spent £220 and they refunded me £19. So I messaged them saying, why is there only £19? I need my full refund. Why have I not got my full refund? Thinking at the time, I wasn't going to receive these jumpers. Um, yeah, and then no response. I messaged that, no response. They just said, thank you for your message. I'm going to be in touch. Nobody ever got in touch. So that was the last message I've sent them. They sent me £19. They said, you're entitled to a full refund. And then all of a sudden, I only get £19, then get blanked. So I'm not sure what that was all about. But yeah, a couple... Um, Luckily, even though they cancelled the order, the guy still shipped them and they, they've arrived. So by saying that and kicking off, I got £19 off, which is quite nice. Um, works out about a quid off each jumper. So decent, but not what I wanted. I wanted my refund so I could then go and buy more. Um, but yeah, it was a bit annoying because I don't know why they have the rule there that you can cancel your order and get a refund if they're not going to fulfil that. I feel like that's a little bit misleading and a little bit um, sneaky on their behalf. Maybe maybe it was too late, but they didn't communicate that to me. They didn't say, I'm really sorry um, that the order's already gone through. There's nothing we can do. They just said, yeah, absolutely fine. We'll get that cancelled. We'll get that money sent back to you. And then nothing happened. Um, and then when I chased them up, they did refund, but they refund £19, which was a random amount. I don't know why they refunded £19 um, out of a £230 order. That seemed odd. Maybe that's their end. Maybe that's their cut, and that's all they could do. But again, this wasn't communicated. It was just... Your order, your refund should have come through by now, and it was like just left to my own devices. So it was a little bit upsetting. Um, what else have I got on my list? That was pretty much it on their behalf. Just really bad communication. Um, I wanted to know what was happening with my refund. They didn't want to tell me. They didn't explain why I could or couldn't get the refund. They didn't explain the steps. They just said, "Yep, that's been processed." And then it turns out I never end up getting the money. So a bit annoying and then that was one that was the help support team and then i communicated with two sellers the one that i bought the jumpers off that i said kind of cancel the order because i thought i better message him as well to try and cancel um no response and then before i bought those a couple of weeks earlier i'd message someone saying can you do a smaller bundle on something um and they didn't reply to me either so that was my experience on fleek the thing is, if I'd never wanted to cancel the order, I'd have had a perfect experience on Fleek. So if you're thinking about using Fleek, uh, Fleek take what I've just said with a pinch of salt. Because I I was the one, self-accountability here, I was the one who messed up, right? I shouldn't have wanted to cancel that order. That was on me for being too quick ordering. I sh if I'd waited an hour, um, it's sod's law. But yeah, I, I was being a pain in the ass trying to cancel the order and mess around and I never chance to cancel the order it would have been a perfect experience because the jumpers are brilliant i got no qualms they arrived perfect they arrived in time um but yeah just when it's annoying because fleek has such a such a such potential because the reselling market is growing and the wholesale market is also like a bit scammy as well like you i've done a lot of bundles in the past and you get a lot of crap Fleek, because you, what you order, what you're ordering, you don't get as much crap from my experience from these bundles. It was all sellable, all perfect, all gonna get top dollar for it. So, very happy, and they've got such good potential there. But I don't know. Just the communication needs to improve. I don't know what happened. I don't know why they didn't explain me or talk me through what was going on. Um, 
it really let, let the site down to be honest because i was <laughs> I, I don't know if if you ask me will i use fleek again the answer is probably like probably might i don't know um there's a chance it's not a definitely no because i've had a good experience other than wanting to cancel something if you want to cancel something or get a refund or change your order you're going to have a nightmare you're going to have a real nightmare so if you're going to order on fleek take your time slow right down and think is this definitely what i want it's definitely the best deal for me right now um and if it is and if you are happy with it perfect definitely like give yourself some time to think if you're 100 percent certain i'm sure you'll have a good experience on the website um but what concerns me is if these arrived and they weren't very good what would have happened if i wanted to send them back or they were faulty or they weren't so all stained or they'd sent me the wrong thing and i wouldn't have been able to get hold of anyone they would have just like forgot about me again it just left a bit of a sour, sour taste in my mouth because once they arrived i was like fine forget about the money because i know i can recoup the money because now i've got them um but it's not the point i want you know you want you want good customer service you're paying enough money you want well, you want what they stipulate that they offer you know good customer service quick refunds it all says it on their website on all their things i made sure to look it up before cancelling the order if it was doable but clearly not and clearly um i don't know i don't know what happened i don't know why if it was just potluck that it was me but i've heard if you go on their instagram a lot of people saying like where's my refund on their comments they're commenting on posts saying where's my refund um and they, I don't know if they care at the minute, I don't know. Uh, they got a lot of bad reviews, it's a, it's a shame. Um, because I did enjoy using the platform, um, I'd do well out of the jumpers. But yeah, it's, it is what it is. That was my experience. Um, don't be put off by this if you want to use Fleek. Use it, but just absolutely 100% make sure um, that one, you can check if your um, seller, the guy you're going to buy off, if he's got a good rating, you can go on their profile and it will say, same similar as eBay with the stars, um, make sure they've got a good rating. They, it shows you their repeat buys as well, which is quite nice. Um, make sure all that's clear and make sure you're absolutely 100% certain that you're not going to want to cancel the order at any point because you're going to struggle, basically, is my experience. But yeah, hopefully this video is helpful. Um, I just thought I'd go over my experience because... I could only find positive things about Fleek on YouTube and I thought that was a little bit unfair. So I wanted to give another side to it, you know, give an unbiased side. Um, hopefully I've been unbiased. I'm a little not, it's, this was about a month ago now. So I've, you know, calmed down a little bit now. I've, I've managed to recoup quite a bit of money off those. So yeah, just make sure, all I can say is make sure it's absolutely what you want and you'll be, you'll be your winner. Yeah, you won't go wrong. Um, but yeah, just, it just, one of them. It's just one of them it just upset me that i couldn't get through to anyone and it was just felt like they weren't trying to help they were just trying to take my money and make me go quiet and hope the stuff turned up so i could shut up um, which is basically what happened in the end the stuff turned up and i just thought it's not worth the time anymore um so yeah um is what it is that's my experience i hope this has been helpful uh, if it has make sure to like subscribe let me know in the comments if you're ever going to use fleek um yeah be a little bit careful I'm, i wouldn't trust some they got some like polar ralph Lauren stuff on there i probably wouldn't go near that just because i think a lot of it might be faked um that is complete conjecture that is complete um me guessing but yeah i would stay away i would stick to the funner stuff the reworks the rework car heart because then it doesn't really matter because you can put reworked and you're sort of covered there it doesn't have to be an official product if it's reworked um it's a little bit of a loophole so yeah, just be careful when you're using it. Um, make sure you're absolutely certain what you want. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, if you're helpful, let me know down below. We'll use Fleek. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I finally got through the Fleek video. Um, yeah, I'll see you on Monday or Tuesday with another car boot video. How exciting. Uh, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.